if you have a slow website and you tried all the YouTube tutorials on how to optimize website speed and you read a lot of blogs on Google how to optimize website speed but nothing worked. Sometimes you don't get high scores and when you get high scores your website breaks. Then this perfect video for you because I'm a developer, I'm creating website from last 15 years and I got my website from this to this course. And I'll today give you a lot of important tips and some easy steps that how you can also achieve really really high scores for website speed and just to give you idea about my website you can see this is my website it is a website which is using woocommerce i am having a lot of plugins on my website lot of javascript is added on the website and i have still optimized this site to get such high scores and if i show you i got 27 active plugins on the website and i am using extra free theme and guys i request you to watch this video until the end not just to increase the watch time for this video because a lot of people they watch half the video and then after they face some issues because in this video i'm going to cover three really easy tips how you can increase your website speed and then i will tell you if there is an issue with the website how you can solve that so i highly recommend you to watch this video until the very end okay so first let's talk about the site scores you can see i'm scoring 32 for mobile devices fcp lcp total blocking time speed index really bad cls is not very bad but everything else is really bad and we talk about desktop scores, we are scoring 59 and things are not so bad. In most of the cases for you also, desktop will be much better scores than mobile scores. If we see website by Pingdom tools, you can see my website is loading in 5.18 seconds. If your website is loading more than 2 seconds, you have a very high dropout rate on your website. People will come on your website, but they will not visit the pages on your website. As a result, they will not buy anything from your website or if it is a blog website, they will not read any more blogs. On GT Matrix, you can see we are scoring 57 for performance and LCB is really bad, TBD is 55 millisecond, not bad. So let me show you these easy tips how we can improve your website speed and get such high scores. And guys, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That will make me really happy. I'll know that you're learning something new and improving your web skills. So let's start the first easiest tip, which is to update your website. If you have any update on your website, do them. For example, in my case, I have all these plugins are not updated. I don't have any theme which is not updated but in your case if your theme is not updated update the theme too and make sure you're using the current version of wordpress right now it is 6.2 but if you're watching this video in future whatever will be the current version update to the current version and that's it first step is done you already took the first step to increase your website speed now let's go to the main step which will really make your website scores very high so this step will be page caching image or media optimization and third is javascript and css file optimization and if you implement these things properly as i show in this video your website will fly and to implement all these three easy steps we are going to use wb rocket plugin you can see this is the number one plugin for website caching and this plugin comes only for 59 dollars per year i think this is a really good investment for your website it is just 59 dollars per year and then you will not spend so much time in optimizing your website rather you can focus on adding content to your website and getting leads from your website so once you buy this plugin, you can go to my account and then you can download this plugin by clicking this link. And the plugin will download in your downloads folder. And now we'll go to WordPress dashboard, who on plugins and click add new. And then click on upload plugin, browse and select the download file you receive from WP Rocket and click open. Then click on install now. So plugin is installed, then click on activate plugin. So once the plugin is activated, you can find this plugin on top bar, WP Rocket and then click on settings. And then you see this dashboard we'll see the message congratulations w rocket is now activated and already working for you your website should be loading faster and just by activating the plugin your website is already faster and as i told you we're going to do this optimization three step first will be page caching second will be media and image optimization and third will be js and css optimization so let's start with the first one which is cache so you see this option cache click on cache and then make sure this option is checked enable caching for mobile devices you do not need to check this option until you have a website theme different for mobile and desktop devices. In most of cases, you will not have this theme unless you have a very, very old website. So I leave this option like this. Then you have this option user cache. So if your website is a WooCommerce website or a membership website where people are logging inside, then make sure you check this option. Otherwise, you can leave this option unchecked. And then we have cache lifespan. So by default, it is 10 hours. It determines that how long your cache should be stored in the system. Leave everything like this and then click on save changes. Congratulations, first step is done. Our page caching is working on your website and this was so simple. So let's go to the second part which is media and image optimization. So you see this option media. 
We are going to cover this option file optimization after because I told you we are going to do this easy steps which will be really easy for you and a lot of you can implement those easy steps without knowing anything about web development. So we are going to cover on file optimization and other option later. So first let's optimize our media and images. So click on media and now make sure you enable lazy load for images and then enable lazy load for iframe and videos. If you are using YouTube videos on your website make sure you enable this option. Normally WordPress already got native lazy load but I find Lazy load from WP Rocket works much better. And then if you want to exclude any image to be lazy loaded, you can add that image URL here. And then check this option, add missing image dimensions. What it does, let me show you. If I go to PHP scores, and if I scroll the page, you can see this option, image elements do not have explicit width and height. So when I check this option, this will solve that issue. Once done, click on save changes. Okay, so we have done the first thing in media optimization. Okay, now second thing we will do to optimize images is to add a CDN. You see this option CDN, integrate your CDN, click on this option and now you can see either you can subscribe for Rocket CDN which is from WP Rocket. It costs $7.99 per month, if you want you can implement this one or what else you can do, you can use Cloudflare CDN. To implement Cloudflare CDN, you need to click here on add-ons. I give the suggestion WP Rocket team to move this option under CDN and then click on add-ons and when you click on add-ons, you see this option Cloudflare. So enable this option. And now it will ask you to modify option. Click on modify option. Now you need to add your global API key. You can create a free account on Cloudflare and then enter email account and then zone ID. I get a whole video about Cloudflare implementation. If you want to check that video, check the description of this video. I check the top eye link. Okay, so you log in into your Cloudflare account and then when you log in, you will see this is your zone ID. You can copy zone ID and then you can paste it here in zone ID. Then you need to enter your email associated with your Cloudflare account and for global API key click on this option get your API token and then click on this global API key view you need to enter a password and then click on view so this is your global API key copy this API key and go back to the rocket and then enter your global API key here and then scroll the page and click on save changes and the third easy thing you need to do about image and media optimization is to use the image optimization plugin so if you scroll you will see image optimization compress your images so what you can do, you can install Imagify which is a plugin from WP Rocket or you can use any other free plugin available on WordPress to compress the images. So now as we have covered the image optimization, we will go to a very crucial step which is going to be really important for you guys which is JS and CSS optimization. So click here on file optimization because what happens when you install a lot of plugins and we use some themes which are really heavy, a lot of JS and CSS is added on the website and when we add this JS and CSS on the website website loads slow. So by this option we can manage these CSS and JavaScript and optimize them so that website loads really fast. So in CSS file tabs, click here on Minify CSS. You will see this message is activate Minify CSS can break, accept this and then you will see this option combine CSS files. In most of the cases you are using HTTP2 protocols so you do not need to enable this option and then you need to check this option optimize CSS delivery and then by default you will see this option remove unused CSS is activated and then click on activate remove unused CSS and that is all for CSS optimization. And then we will go to JavaScript optimization. So click on minify JavaScript files again confirm this message and then because we are using HTTP2 we are not going to use this option but if your server is using HTTP1 I suggest you to use this option but normally with PHP scores nowadays not very friendly to combine all the JavaScript because what happens the number of files become less but it becomes really big heavy file so I do not recommend to use this option and then check this option lazy load deferred and then click on save changes okay so congratulations you have successfully optimized your JavaScript and CSS files but guys this option can break your website I'm gonna cover a little bit later in the video like if it breaks your website how you can solve this issue but for now we have done all these three important steps let me just give you very quickly some overview about other options. This option works very fine by default but I think it is really important to know what are these options. Okay so we have covered dashboard, cache, file optimization, media already. Let's see preload. By default it is already activated so what happened when you use preload option? Before somebody visits your website there is already cache on the system. So when somebody visits your website they will serve the fast pages to the visitors. And then we have preload links. So what happens when somebody hover on links? Before even clicking the links, when somebody hover on links, the cache prepares and it is ready to serve the next page to the website visitors. So make sure this link is checked. And then we have prefetch DNS request. If you want to prefetch or load earlier any resource from different website, you can add the domain name here. And then preload fonts. If you want to preload the font, you can add the font URL here and then click on save changes. 
After preload, we have advanced rule, which can be really useful in some cases. You can add your website URLs here, which you don't want to be optimized by WP Rocket plugin. By default, card, checkout, and my account pages will never be cached. If you want to add some more pages, you can add the URL here. And then we have narrow cache cookies. You can just leave everything same like this on this page. And then you can click on save changes. And then we have database, which can be really, really useful in some cases. So what happens in WordPress when you do editing of your pages or you do any kind of different stuff, your database got bloated because it stores revision on the website. Sometimes the database tables, they're not optimized. So what you can do if you are creating a website and you want the revision, you should not use this option. But if in case, if your website is old and you have a lot of page revision, you can come to this page and check. And then you can check all these options to delete the revision auto draft. And then you can delete spam also permanently from here and then transient cleanup. Guys, make sure you take backup of your database before performing these actions. And then optimize tables. If you want, you can schedule the automatic cleanup too. And then save changes and optimize. If you want to watch a detailed video how to take back of the website, you can check the link in description or check the top i card. This is really important. So what happens? WordPress use heartbeat to perform a lot of different actions on your website. For example, saving pages when you make changes in the editor or sometimes checking some security data. A lot of different things done by heartbeat. But sometimes this becomes too much and your website has so much load just because of heartbeat. So make sure this option is checked. So website will still perform all those actions, but not with so many load. For example, your website is checking heartbeat in like every minute. If you control this option, it will check in like two minutes. So it is already 50% decreased load on website. And by default, this is checked. So you don't need to click save changes, but just to make sure, click on save changes. And then we have this option add-ons. We have already covered Cloudflare and add-ons, but let's see other things. So you have varnish option. A lot of hosts use varnish cache for speed optimizing the website. So make sure you check this option. And then we have WebP compatibility. You can use a plugin like WebP Express. I created a detailed video about it. That's really amazing video, guys. You will have a lot of knowledge if you watch that video. I'll drop the link in description or you can check the top i card. So make sure you enable this option so that all the images will be converted to WebP. Or you can use Image5 from WP Rocket to convert WebP images. And then we have tools. If you want to export the settings and import to another website, you can use the same option. If you want to import setting from other website to this website, you can use this option. And guys, that's it for optimization. Now, if you check your website, they will have real nice scores. So this is everything to optimize your website using W Rocket plugin. But now this is the most important thing. What you need to do now is go back to your website and reload your website and make sure your website is not breaking. So in my case, my website is not breaking at all. Everything is running fine. But in case if your website is breaking, what you need to do? Go back to W Rocket. In most of the cases, your website will be broke because of CSS and JS files. So what happens actually is not breaking because every website is different and you need to tune W Rocket to adapt to your website. What we can do now? So first we'll do a CSS troubleshooting. So what we'll do, we'll uncheck this option, optimize CSS delivery, and then we'll save changes. And then we'll go back to website, we'll check again if it is breaking or not. If it's still breaking, what we'll do, we'll come back to W Rocket, and then we'll uncheck this option, minify CSS files. So now we have no CSS optimization on our website. And then we'll save changes. And then we'll test our website again, if it's breaking or not. At this point, you will know if CSS is breaking your website or not. How you know? Because now we have deactivated all CSS options. So if it is still breaking, it means it is breaking because of JS options. So what we can do, we can go back to Rocket and we can safely check minify CSS and optimize CSS delivery. And then what we do, we'll repeat the same step for JavaScript files. We'll uncheck minify JavaScript files and then uncheck load JavaScript defer and then save changes. We'll test the website again. Now it is not breaking. We know now it is because of the JavaScript option. So what we can do, same thing with CSS and JS, the same troubleshooting. So we'll check this option again. And now we have just minified JavaScript files. So what we'll do when we'll save changes, we're not using JavaScript deferred option. We are using just minify, save changes. Now website is not breaking. So now we know minify is not breaking. So now what you need to do, you need to add the JavaScript file URL, which is required. And when you optimize the website, it is breaking the website. If you want to know how you can troubleshoot and know JavaScript, I'll add the link in the description where I created a whole video about it, how you can know which file is breaking your website. So add that file here, and then you can again use this option, load JavaScript deferred, and then save changes. So at this point, your website is not breaking because we excluded this JavaScript file. Same thing you can do with CSS. You can add the CSS file here, which you want to be excluded from WP Rocket optimization. So once you have done this, then you test your website again. If everything looks fine, you will have really good scores. And guys, if you still face some issue, don't forget to comment. I answer all the comments on my channel. 
you see this is my video on Lightspeed Cache. I almost answer more than 1500 comment. So if you still face the issue, don't forget to comment on this video. So now let me retest my website again after all these optimization. So click on analyze, I retest with Pingdom tools and I retest again with GT matrix. Okay, so GT matrix test is loaded. You can see we are getting A grade now, performing 96, structure 93. LC 1.3 second, website is loading really, really beautifully. So the test is done. You can see I'm scoring 99 for mobile devices. And for desktop, I'm scoring 97. Guys, amazing scores. And guys, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And subscribing is free. I will really appreciate that. I'll be really happy if this video helped you. Or if you have an issue, don't forget to comment. And I create these videos to help you out, give you some more detailed, in-depth knowledge about these technical things so you can have a successful website. So make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. That will make me really happy. I will know that you're learning something new and you're improving your web skills. And guys, if you want to buy the W Rocket plugin, you can check this link on your screen. And if you want to know more about page speed optimization, check these other videos on the screen.